Okay, now we have the extended version of the chord changes and we've just done a whole lot of alterations here and there's various reasons why these things fit. Uh, our first chord was an E7. Now we're going to uh, change it to B minor 7 flat 5, E7 flat 9, which is kind of a 2-5 leading to our A9 chord. Then we're going to alter the A9 chord and make it an A7 flat 5 add 9. A minor 9, uh, just the addition of the ninth tone instead of using uh, just a straight A minor 7. And a D7 with a flat 9. And an F sharp major sharp 9 chord. And a G major 7 add 13. B minor 7, B flat diminish. A minor 7, D13, that part stays basically the same. E minor 9, and once again the altered A7, uh, A13 with a, I'm sorry, A7 with a flatted fifth, add 9. A minor 7, and now a little chromatic move. D sus, E flat sus, E sus. To uh, E7 sharp 9, sharp 5. E minor 9, A7 flat 5 add 9, A minor 9, D13, B sus, B7 flat 5 flat 9, B minor 7 flat 5, E7 flat 9, A9, A7 flat 5 add 9, and then a B augmented, E7 sharp 9, uh, a minor 7, or probably it would be better to use this sus here. To an A flat major 7 with a flatted 5th, to a G major 7. Now what we did here on this progression was we just added a, quite a few little chromatic moves and some alterations that are common uh, amongst jazz players. Uh, you're probably not going to find this type of chordal harmony going on in too many country tunes or even being played over these basic progressions. You're more likely to find just the basic chords being played when uh, you're talking about a country music type situation. But once again, let me reiterate that you can think in this way and play it over those basic changes and it will still come out fine, or at least it's worked for me so far. So uh, anyway, let us play now the extended version of the tune for you and uh, we'll see what you think about that. Thank you. 